This is Crafty Cat. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. We are here with a brand new type of video. This is a completion and review, but it's a new to me uh, completion and review. This is an acrylic painting review, uh, well, completion actually. So you guys, today as I'm recording this is December 29th. It is my parents' 60th anniversary and I bought a bunch of paints before Christmas and I thought I've got to learn how to use them. And I decided to follow a YouTube tutorial to make this beautiful um, acrylic painting on a dollar store panel. That's right. I didn't. I have to go to Michaels and buy panels. Actually, I think I ordered some from Amazon, and they're not in yet. But anyway, this is an acrylic painting, and here's my little angel. My aunt bought me. Let's just move it to the side. So I can grab this. So this is an 8 by 10 acrylic painting that I did with my Montmartre acrylics. Now the lady that I, or I think it's the lady that I followed the video, um, I will put a link right here. She is awesome and has beautiful, beautiful videos. So the video was a really quick video. It goes through really quickly showing you how to do it. But it doesn't tell you whether to wait for paint to dry or to work wet or wet or anything. So that's the con, but the pro is it's fast. You could watch the same thing over and over and over to kind of get the, the idea of what you need to do and then just kind of learn as you go, which I kind of like because some of the videos out there are amazing, but they are like an hour and a half or two and a half hours or three hours and you learn so much, but then you watch them once and then I'm just too tired to paint with them. So I might try one of those another time, but I did love these really short videos with no talking and I just watched the lady paint or the girl um, and it was so relaxing and peaceful and I watched so many videos, but I chose this one, um, because she did such a lovely job. Mine isn't as anywhere near as nice as hers, but it, it came close and I'm really happy for my first time. I've never painted an acrylic actual painting before. This is my first time. Um, I've done those little ornaments where you're, it's basically backgrounds with trees. This is basically, basically a background with trees and people, like silhouettes, but I'm really happy with how it came out. Considering I really don't know what I'm doing and I'm just learning by watching YouTube videos. So um, I chose this one because it looks a lot like my camp. I, I don't know if you remember seeing any videos that I posted this summer while I stayed at camp. Uh, you guys call it a cottage or, or uh, a cabin maybe. But we call it camp. So it's um, our camp is on Lake Superior. We're on the bay. And this is what the view kind of looks like. Now, we used to have a big tree like this where my dad and I used to sit. And my mom and dad used to sit under the big tree. And we have other trees, too. But the giant tree now is just a stump. That's all that's left is the stump. But when my parents, they bought the property the year they got married. So the property is as old as their marriage. It's 60 years old. And uh, they started building the, they started clearing the lot before I was born and they started building the year I was born. So uh, this tree was there in the beginning and this is a lot what the view looks like, especially on a day that's a little bit misty. Um, and at ours, you'd see little distant hills in the background, but the lake is really big. So you can only see across, or I can only see across with my eyesight on a very, very clear day. So normally this is what it looks like. You just see kind of a dark line in the horizon. And unless I use my zoom camera, I can't really see the hills in the distance, like I said, unless it's super clear. So, but this is a cloudy day. So on a cloudy day like that, this, you know, and a sunrise or a sunset, this just reminded me of camp. And it's like we have this hill that goes exactly like this, where you're sitting on the hill overlooking the bay. So um, I thought this was perfect. So I did the silhouette of the people. And I made mine a little bit bigger than the lady did because my dad's a little bit bigger. But I didn't make him the size that he is now because this is meant to uh, represent when they first got married. And I just put my initials here. But I'm really happy with how it turned out. You guys, I'm so happy. Um, and I had a hard time wanting to paint over it. Because first I did the sky. You put a piece of tape on the horizon for the water. So first you just do the ombre colors from the side. I don't even know how to pronounce it. O-M-B-R-E. So you start with bright yellow and then deeper yellow and then oranges and then kind of like a reds and then almost a burgundy at the bottom. Right? And then you let it dry. And then uh, she painted the, the clouds. So I painted all the clouds in and then I let it dry. 
And then she painted the sun around the clouds, but I had to paint the sun over the clouds because I'm not that good. And then I had to repaint the clouds over the sun. So, and I didn't know to let it dry at first because at first it looked like it was just wet and wet and there's no instructions. But, um, so after I did this, I thought, oh gosh, I, I don't want to put the dark in. What if I wreck it? But then I put the hill in just to let it look good. So I thought, okay, now I got to put the tree in. So first I just put the tree trunk and the big branches in. And it looked good, and I was really afraid to do the leaves. And I thought, oh, God, what if I mess it up? So I wanted to stop there, but I didn't, so I did this. And then I thought, okay, I should stop here. Forget the people. I've never drawn people, like even just silhouettes of people. It's not something I've ever done. But I have a chalk pencil that you can wipe off once it's when, you know, when you're done. So I used a white chalk pencil, and I kind of did the outline until I got it where I liked it. And then I just colored it in, in black. And then I just had to do the little, the little grass and I thought, oh, I'm scared. What if I wreck it? And I had to add the yellow for the, the light on the water. And I thought, oh, so the last thing I should have added, I didn't was a black boat with the silhouette of a guy fishing. And I thought, no, <laughs> there's very rarely anyone fishing in front of our camp. I just want this. I didn't want to take away from the couple. I wanted the couple to be the main thing. Now, for the last year, I have been doing art, but it's digital art and I do it on Procreate. And the magic of digital art and Procreate is you do layers. So if I were doing this on, and you, this is kind of the same thing, you're doing layers. But the problem is, like, when I'm all done the background, when I do the tree, in Procreate, if I don't like it, I have a nice handy undo button. It disappears. I can try again. We don't have that in real life. It's like, oh, so if I make a mistake, I'm like, it's bad. Because how am I going to paint over it to get that background again, right? So, but thankfully I got it enough. Like, it's not perfect. You could tell I'm a newbie, but I'm very happy with it. And then at the back, I just wrote, happy 60th anniversary, mom and dad. Love you both. Love Kathy. And then I signed it. And, uh, yeah, this is just like a dollar store one. Because I thought I'm not going to buy expensive canvases when I don't know what I'm doing. But uh, then I, I read reviews of dollar store canvases and everyone's saying how hard they are to work on. But I did... um. I put some something called gesso on it to prepare it first. The night before I painted, I prepared the canvas with gesso. So maybe that helped because it, it was okay. There were a few spots over here where I had to redo them because the colors wanted to bleed. Like I had to make the tree a little bit wider in here because the colors wanted to bleed, but it looks fine. The hardest part for me were the tree branches where you're just, you have to find the right brush and then just kind of tap it. And it's like a reddish brown underneath and then the black on top. And then you paint the branches in. I think I used 15 different brushes before I found the right brush that would give me that look. And I did it on a test paper. So, yeah. So I had to use an old, old brush from that, from that I used to do when I used to make dolls. And I think I used it to glue. Like it was an old ratty brush that was all splayed out. And that gave me the best kind of weird silhouette leaf look. So I've got a lot to learn, but for my first time, I'm really happy. And I think my parents will like this. I think my dad will like this. So I did the diamond painting and this. The diamond painting is more for my mom, and this painting is more for my dad. So, But they each got a gift. It's for both of them. And I also got them an ornament that I gave to them for Christmas. It's a Christmas ornament that I special ordered. And um, it says, annoying each other since 1962. And it's a man and a woman sitting in the back of the truck, and you're able to make them look like whoever you want. So I got to make them look like my parents and the clothing they wear. The only thing I couldn't change was the color of the truck, because my parents have a green truck. It's a red truck. So if I could have made it a green truck, it would have been perfect. But anyway, I'm really excited with this. I think it came out really nicely. I mean, it's not meant to be looked at this close up. But I'm so excited that I finally... And working with like real colors and real things in real life instead of just on my Procreate. I still love my Procreate because I love that undo button. I, I love that I can just erase a whole layer if I want and start over with a clean canvas. Like if this was on Procreate, I could add the boat on a separate layer. And if I didn't like it, I could just undo it, you know. But this, if I add a black boat right there, I, I might ruin the whole thing. So anyway, I just like the way it looks, and I hope you do too. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave your comments, let me know what you think, and um, most importantly, take care, stay safe, and you know what? Tomorrow or the next day, one of these days is New Year's Eve, so um, today's the 29th, 30, 31, how many days are there in December? 
I don't even know. You guys, did you get into a super weird, funky brain thing from the week from Christmas to New Year's where it's like you're living in an alternate reality? Or is that just me? It's like there's no sense of time or place in the week from Christmas to New Year. Anyway, that could just be me. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now.